Hi everyone, this is Top3D Shop, and in this video we will tell you about Dual Extruder 3D Printers, their types, peculiarities, scope of application, and most importantly, the best models available today. When they first appeared in the market, FDM 3D printers were only able to print with one filament at a time. More sophisticated multicolor or multi-material projects used to be a real challenge, requiring serious user skills. But demand creates its own supply, and a new technology to solve the problem couldn't help but come up. Thus, dual extrusion printers entered the market, breaking new grounds for customers. So, what is the worth of dual extrusion technology? Generally, if you're going to print mostly single color and single material models with relatively simple geometries, you can get by with a single extruder device. Although even in this case, dual extrusion can be of some help. For more complex projects, dual extruder 3D printers prove definitely useful, if not indispensable in some cases. There are two main types of dual extrusion 3D printers, based on the use of dependent or independent extruders. We will discuss each type in detail a bit later, and now, let's see how customers can benefit from using such systems. Virtually, the most important advantage of a dual extruder is its ability to print supports with soluble filaments. Some complex models with overhanging elements require support structures to prevent deformation while printing. With a single extruder, supports are printed with the same filament as the model, and then removed with the risk of damaging the part. Besides, some models need internal supports, which are impossible to remove after the part has been printed. Using the second extruder for printing supports with a soluble filament solves this problem. The most common materials for support structures are PVA and HIPS. Once the part is ready, all you need to do is just submerge it in water or limonene, if HIPS is used, to completely dissolve the supports. This reduces post-processing time and eliminates the risk of damaging the part. The second extruder can be used not only for creating support structures, but also for printing dual material models, combining different properties of both materials used. For example, you can print certain elements of the model with a carbon fiber filled filament, thus strengthening the whole structure, while the rest of the part can be printed with less expensive PLA. Some 3D printers like CreateBot D600 Pro use two extruders for different filament types, the left extruder for printing low temp materials such as PLA or ABS, and the right one, equipped with a 420 degrees Celsius hot end, for printing high-temp nylons, carbon fiber-filled thermoplastics, and PC. Likewise, dual extruder printers allow using two filaments of different colors simultaneously, creating dual color parts without the need to change filaments. The use of two extruders also allows speeding up the process compared to single extrusion printing. With an independent dual extruder, you can double the production volume of your 3D printer by making two similar parts in one go, using mirror or duplication modes. Apart from that, if one extruder is clogged, you don't have to stop printing, but can continue with the second extruder, thus minimizing downtime and increasing the efficiency of the printing process. Besides an array of obvious advantages, dual extrusion has its shortcomings, though not numerous. One of them is a high price. As dual extrusion printers are more complicated mechanisms, they're more expensive than their single extruder counterparts. Also, such systems tend to be heavier, as the dual extruder adds some weight, which can interfere with the smooth print head movement and lead to issues like stringing. This problem can be solved, for example, by slowing down the print speed. Dual extrusion printers also need more frequent maintenance and more complicated calibration than devices with a single extruder. Plus, they require a bit more preparation of the digital model, as you have to specify the printing tasks for both extruders. Now let's talk about how to actually pick a dual extruder 3D printer. There's a large variety of such equipment in the market, which differ greatly in functionality and price range. To make the best of the technology and not to pay extra, it's worth knowing which types of dual extrusion 3D printers are available in the market and what each type is capable of. The dependent dual extrusion system has two variations, implying the use of one or two nozzles. The former are equipped with one print head with a single nozzle. The filaments are printed in turn, and after each change, the remains of the previous material should be completely removed from the nozzle to avoid color blending. In order to do this, a purge block or prime tower is printed to extrude the remaining filament. Not the best way to save on material, though. An interesting example of such a system, although it's not a printer itself, is the Mosaic Palette 3 Pro Filament Splicer, allowing for continuous printing with up to 8 filaments. The device is compatible with most single extrusion FDM printers and allows converting them to multicolor machines. 
Another example of a single nozzle dual extrusion system is the Creality CRX Dual Color 3D Printer with a large build volume and vast creative opportunities. A dual nozzle setup uses a single print head with two dependent nozzles. This type of dual extrusion is faster than that using a single nozzle design as you do not spend time on switching filaments. It also gives you more freedom as you can print with different filament types using various nozzle diameters. Printing water-soluble support structures is a great advantage of this system. On the downside, there is a risk of oozing which can be minimized by creating an ooze shield, a one-layer wide wall created around the printed part to catch the remaining filament on the nozzle. Another way to avoid oozing, already mentioned above, is to build a prime tower, that is, a block next to the part being printed. The independent dual extruder system, called IDEX, is the most advanced dual extrusion technology, as it adopts two print heads moving independently from each other on the X-axis. Featuring all the benefits of a dependent dual extrusion system, like multi-material or multi-color printing, IDEX provides a huge advantage, which is simultaneous printing of two copies of the same model, either in duplication or in mirror mode. The latter can be used, for example, for making two insoles for a pair of shoes in one go. This ability means that you can double the production speed, which sounds great for batch manufacturing. As nothing is perfect, IDEX also has its drawbacks. Firstly, the second print head adds considerable weight, thus introducing the risk of Z-wobbling. Another thing with using IDEX printers is the reduced build volume when printing in certain modes. The example of this is the CraftBot Flow IDEX XL 3D printer. It features a total build area of 425 by 250 by 500 millimeters, but the x-axis is reduced to 386 millimeters in single print head mode, 351 millimeters in dual head mode, and 396 millimeters in mirror mode, while duplication mode uses the whole build area. So, let's proceed to the best models of dual extrusion 3D printers, starting with the most price-to-please options. First in line is the Chidi Tech X Pro with an enclosed build chamber and the print volume of 230 by 150 by 150 millimeters. The X Pro is equipped with a direct drive dual extrusion module with four side air blow turbo fans and two 0.4 millimeter nozzles with the maximum temperature of 250 degrees Celsius. The removable magnetic print bed heats up to 110 degrees Celsius. The 4.3 inch touchscreen allows for an easy settings adjustment. The maximum layer height of 50 microns and fully enclosed build chamber with a heated print bed ensure consistent printing with all popular consumer plastics, including PLA, PETG, ABS, and TPU. The FlashForge Creator Pro 3D printer is an upgraded version of the FlashForge Creator model. The device features a rigid metal frame and a fully enclosed build chamber of 227 by 148 by 150 millimeters, and can print up to 60% faster than the original Creator. The machine is equipped with a dual extrusion system with two dependent print heads, which enable dual color and dual material printing, including water-soluble support structures. The maximum hot end temperature of 240 degrees Celsius and the heated removable print bed allow working comfortably with most consumer filaments, such as ABS, PLA, PVA, flexible materials, and composites. The FlashForge Dreamer is another affordable yet reliable FDM 3D printer, featuring two dependent print heads. The printer is equipped with two cooling fans to avoid warping while printing PLA-like filaments. The enclosed chamber and the heated print bed ensure compatibility with all popular consumer plastics. 100 micron minimum layer height provides decent print quality, but the software allows the user to set up half the layer height for even more detailed prints with smoother surface finish. The build volume of 230 by 150 by 140 millimeters is enough for most home use applications, while the LED bar inside the printer is convenient when printing in dark environments. The Bibo 2 Touch is a dual extrusion FDM 3D printer with a build volume of 214 by 186 by 160 millimeters. The device is equipped with a direct drive dual extruder with two hot ends, sitting side by side on a single print head. Alongside the ability to build dual color and dual material models, the Bibo 2 Touch can print in copy printing mode, which allows making two copies of the same part in one go. To reduce the risk of oozing, the inactive hot end is cooled down to 175 degrees Celsius, although such a solution decreases print speed. The fully enclosed build chamber and detachable glass heated print bed make for printing with a lot of different filament types, including ABS, PLA, PVA, HIPS, TPU, PC, PETG, nylon, wood, and others. The Bibo2 Touch is compatible with most popular slicing software, like Cura, Repetier Host, or Simplify 3D. An optional laser engraving module can be bought separately to expand the functionality of the device. The FlashForge Creator 2 Pro is a Cartesian-style FDM 3D printer 
that boasts an independent dual extruder system, which is rarely found in models within this price category. The nozzles can heat up to 240 degrees Celsius and feature an improved design to prevent clogging. The heated print bed and a fully enclosed build chamber prevent temperature fluctuations and ensure consistent printing results with all consumer filaments, like PLA, ABS, HIPS, TPU, and others. The Creator Pro 2 is operated via a 3.5-inch touchscreen with a clear and simple interface. Now let's look at the next category of dual extrusion 3D printers containing professional solutions. The Chidi Tech iFast is an industrial-grade FDM printer featuring a direct-drive dual extruder equipped with wear-resistant ruby nozzles with a maximum temperature of 300 degrees Celsius and two nozzle cooling fans. The printer's build volume is 360 by 250 by 320 millimeters when printing in a single extruder mode, which is reduced to 330 by 250 by 320 millimeters for dual extrusion. The device is capable of printing two identical models at a time. The iFast boasts an enclosed chamber heated up to 60 degrees Celsius. This feature is extremely useful when printing with temperature-sensitive filaments like nylon or ABS. The printer is operated via a 5-inch LCD touchscreen and supports Wi-Fi and Ethernet connection. It comes with the proprietary Chidi Tech Slicer but is also compatible with Simplify 3D and Cura. The 3D Labs HTX is a professional high-temperature desktop 3D printer aimed at cost-effective additive manufacturing with the most demanding materials, such as PEAK, PEI, PC, and so on. To accelerate workflow and achieve greater consistency and repeatability, the printer is equipped with a large build volume and top-quality reliable components, actively heated chamber, redesigned dual extruder with lifting nozzles for multi-material printing, carbon fiber removable build plates for time and cost-saving production, and other high-end mechanisms. The CreateBot F430 is an industrial-grade FDM 3D printer featuring a dual extrusion system with two different hot ends. The left one heats up to 260 degrees Celsius and is used for printing PLA, ABS, PC, nylon, carbon fiber, and flexible filaments, while the right hot end, with the maximum temperature of 420 degrees Celsius, is made of martensite steel and can print with high-performance materials, such as Peak, Ultem, etc. The device features a large build volume of 400 by 300 by 300 millimeters and a ceramic glass removable print bed. The build chamber can heat up to 70 degrees Celsius, which allows for reliable high-quality printing with such materials as ABS or PC. The BL Touch auto-leveling function allows for proper first-layer adhesion and prevents warping. Our next pick contains equipment that adopts the independent dual extrusion system, the Raise 3D E2 3D printer is equipped with two V3P hot ends with the maximum nozzle temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. The standard nozzle diameter is 0.4 mm, which can be replaced with options from 0.2 to 1 mm. The detachable steel build plate heats up to 110 degrees Celsius and can be easily bent for hassle-free print removal. The auto-leveling adjusts the nozzle height to keep it at the right distance from the build plate, thus ensuring high-quality prints with proper first-layer adhesion. 20 micron minimum layer height provides highly detailed accurate parts, so that the E2, unlike many FDM machines, can even print dental appliances. The FlashForge Creator 3 is a professional FDM printer featuring all the benefits of the iDEX system, namely duplication and mirror modes. The nozzle temperature of 300 degrees Celsius ensures compatibility with high-performance materials such as PA, CF, PC, ASA, GF, and others. The heated steel print bed is flexible and can be removed from the printer to conveniently detach the printed part. The build volume of 300 by 250 by 250 millimeters is large enough for printing sizable parts or batches of smaller models in one go. A 4.5-inch touchscreen with a user-friendly interface is used for operating the device. Besides, the Creator 3 can be controlled via Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or a cloud-based application. The CraftBot Flow IDEX XL features a large build volume of 425 by 250 by 500 millimeters and an open design with a sturdy reinforced steel construction. The all-metal hot ends with the filament dosage monitoring system support the maximum temperature of 300 degrees Celsius, which allows printing with high-performance materials. The list of compatible filaments is pretty long and includes PLA, ABS, PET, nylon, carbon fiber reinforced composites, wood, and brass. The multi-layered heated print bed is made of metal, tempered glass, and capped in sheets and can be removed when printing is over. The last items on our list are dedicated to large format machines. The Raise 3D Pro 3 Plus is an upgraded version of the original model, featuring an enlarged build volume of 300 by 300 by 605 mm. The dual extrusion system with two independent extruders is equipped with interchangeable nozzles with diameters from 0.2 to 1 mm. 
The maximum operating temperature of 300 degrees Celsius allows printing with a wide range of materials, including PLA, ABS, HIPS, TPU, PC, nylon, TPE, flex, PETG, metallic PLA, wood PLA, carbon fiber, and others. The cooling fan is helpful while working with PLA-type filaments. Being equipped with the auto bed leveling function and a removable flexible steel build plate, the Pro 3 Plus provides high-quality prints with a perfect first layer adhesion. A bundle of convenient functions, like EVE Smart Virtual Assistant, adds to consistent, reliable printing. The Modix Big 60 V3 is a large-format industrial FDM printer with the same modular design as all the other Modix machines. The device comes as a kit and allows for a great number of various upgrades, including the enclosure for the build chamber. The huge build volume of 600 by 600 by 660 mm gives the opportunity to print almost any model as one piece. By default, the Big 60 V3 is equipped with an E3D Aero Direct Extruder and a V6 Volcano Hotend. The new Duet 2 control unit supports dual extrusion, as well as a lot of other useful features, so the printer can be upgraded with an improved dual print head for multi-material or multicolor printing. BL Touch Auto Bed Leveling ensures the proper distance between the nozzle and the build plate. The maximum hot end temperature of 285 degrees Celsius and the heated build plate make for the printer's compatibility with a great number of filaments, like PLA, PETG, PVA, ABS, ASA, PC, nylon, TPU, carbon composites, and others. The large-scale professional 3D printer CreateBot D600 Pro features the common for CreateBot device's dual extrusion system, with the left 260 degrees Celsius hot end for printing with standard plastics, and the right hot end that can reach the temperature of 420 degrees Celsius for high-performance thermoplastics, such as PC and high-temp nylons. The spacious build volume of 600 by 600 by 600 millimeters makes the D600 Pro perfectly suitable for a variety of industrial applications. The heated air chamber makes for more predictable printing results with such filaments as nylon or ABS. PL Touch Auto Leveling function ensures perfect first layer adhesion and reduces the risk of print failures. The D600 Pro comes with the free CreateWare software based on the popular Cura Slicer. Let's draw a bottom line. A dual extruder 3D printer allows the user to combine two filaments in one project, bringing FDM printing and additive manufacturing on the whole to a completely new level. There are different types of a dual extrusion system, with the IDEX being the most powerful. The duplication and mirror modes double the production volume, while multicolor and multi-material printing as well as soluble support structures enable you to create interesting, unique models and functional parts. This is Top 3D Shop with the overview of the best dual extruder 3D printers. Subscribe to our channel, leave comments, and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. See you soon!